It's Mr. Late Guy tonight. Mr. Late. Arcades, April Fools. Definitely uh, wanted to be in here earlier, but been one of them days. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's been one of them days. But didn't completely miss you guys. We figured oh, I'll get in here at least for a little while. Even though we don't have any time. I blew through all that today. Hey Ben, hopefully got some chore shit done. Yes. Well, I had to get laundry done. That was a big one. Because I actually should have went on like Saturday, so I was pushing it yesterday. It was out of towels and undies and socks and everything. So yeah, I had to go to the storage and pick those up. And I'll tell the whole story here in a minute. Hey, how you been? Hopefully you got some chart. Yep, yep, Trish. Hey, hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Trish. It's Monday. You probably aren't missing much, dude. Yeah, it's the first. First, sometimes it's really busy here and sometimes it's not because, you know, we're the uh, welfare capital of Washington, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody. You know, and you know, people, you know, it's on Social Security and also, you know, there are normal people that need it too, but there's a lot of moocher weirdos here too. The whole gamut. It's been one of those weird days. I'll uh, throw it out here. I'll give, you, give a few minutes just in case somebody comes in. We got nothing on DoorDash, so I had till 9.30, and obviously it's yeah, 9.30, of course. Pushing my luck tonight. Running by the hair on my chinny chin chin, but that's all right. Yo, JC, what's up, buddy? It's Monday, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that one. I had a busted day out here. In my dash the 8640. Oh, Trish, yeah, that's depends on how long you worked, I guess. Oh, we got a copper right next to me, so he's probably f trying to figure out what's going on. Where's the suit? Oh, no, it's not okay. It looked like a cop, he had, he had yellow fog lights, like yellow, orangey looking. And he was sitting right next to me, like looking. Maybe he's, just wa he's watching me on the lives. <laughs> me hours, Trish. Hello, Zane Gaming. How you doing? Normally, we're quite a bit more proactive dasher or driver, but it's one of them days. I'm just starting, man. So, I'll tell, tell my story. So, I woke up. And I was like, cool. It was like nine-ish, I think, eight or nine-ish. I was like, cool. And my neck hurt like a mother lover because I got, you know, my neck's kind of jacked. So if I sleep the wrong way, secret is, is the way that my bed's kind of set up, my towels, my clean towels, actually, and this is really why I would need to do laundry. They're kind of a base. And yeah, I could put something else there, but the way that stuff fits in the car, it kind of worked where... You know, they're the base under, you know, kind of where I'm laying, sort of. I mean, I got pads and all that, but there's a part that it fits into, okay? So, that was empty because they were all used. And I was trying to go last night and I could not. I was like laying crooked, kind of like this way. So I felt like you know, I was getting acid kind of going down because my neck, you know, I was laying, you know, crooked, like kind of upside down-ish because, you know, usually the towels lift it up. So 
I grabbed my, you know, sweaters and stuff and just threw them, lifted the pad up, and threw them under there, whatever. So it was kind of bungle, bungled and weird. Anyways, I woke up with like a headache, fucking neck kink bullshit. I'm like, oh, it was one of those too. I hurt so bad, like you don't want to move. And you're like, Ugh. Like if you work or lift a bunch of heavy shit, you know, and you get home from work and you sit on the couch or something and you're like, Ugh. Next thing I know, I woke up, it was almost 12. I just passed out again and fucking slept, so. Apparently I needed it. And uh, then I zoned out for like probably an hour and a half, two hours, watching fucking videos, waking up, you know, combing my hair, changing this, that, whatever, just bullshit. Went to the storage. There's like a weird broke down car, like right next by my storage. I'm like, what the? F Nobody in it. I'm like, okay. Maybe they're in their storage, you know, taking a nap too or something. I don't fucking know. Whatever. So I pick up, I got my tub or my thing there with lawn, you know, dirty clothes. So I don't have to haul them all around, you know. Might as well, I'm already here. And then I fucking take that shit uh, to the laundromat. It's packed. Seven million people. I had to wait a minute to get one of those. And I had to wait to get a dryer went back, then they're jumping that car, there's a car blocking the way in, it was just one thing, then I got to the gym, the shower, they're cleaning the showers, so I had to wait a minute for that, and it was just like one thing, stupid thing after another, and then I'm looking at the time, and I'm like, Jesus, we're getting into like, might as well not say, say fuck it territory, you know, but I'm Devious Dasher, so, you know. We gotta deliver something. So anyways, that's my story. I think I was just tired. You know, we worked, we had a long weekend. We've been live streaming a bunch, so I don't know. I was just wore out. Got some rest and got some chores done. Garcade set, so we'll hit it harder tomorrow. It happens every once in a while, especially when you do a seven day a week thing, you know, you get days you know, I never claim to work all day every day, that's for sure. But yeah, this is even late for me. <laughs> the LN, uh, I'm sure he said something stupid. Charmander. Don't want a decapitated attacher. <laughs> that's what it felt like earlier. Rodis, how's it going? Oh, four hours. That's not bad in four. It's still, what, like 18, 36, 17, something like that. 20, 40, 60, 80. No, it's 20. Arcades for sure. Well, I got all my clean towels in there now, so now I got a more of a pillow. I actually, while I was doing that too, I pulled all the shit, a bunch of the stuff out, like the sweaters and stuff, and I moved stuff a little bit. You know, I didn't fully you know, rearrange, but kind of moving around. You know, I'm still kind of figuring it out. I'm getting into a point where it's like okay for a while, and I really want to modify it, modify it, but. We're still kind of in that weird limbo, so we're just recovering from our bill, our two-week bill of lawn, or week and a half bill of lawn. No Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't know what the hell you're talking about there. The freaks come out at night. Well, that's goddamn right. And that's me. Charmander, I saw you on. April feels like it just started. Yeah, no shit. I'm not digging it because it's gonna get hot soon, and I ugh, ugh. I 
It was 75 today here. It's fucking hot. I mean, hot enough, you know. I think we got one more day and then, I don't know, I haven't looked. I believe it's April. We're kind of getting back into this side of town towards the downtown area. I'm gonna flip Uber and everything on here. I'm halfway debating my coffee situation, but I think I'm still gonna get it just because if I don't, I usually feel like shit. I can go to sleep right after it, so it doesn't really bother me. I've had it for a couple years now, so it's like if I don't have it, I'll kind of get coffee withdrawal. That's the bad part about getting hooked on coffee. I think it happens, I mean, I've had it happen with energy drinks too. What the hell is going on here? Alright, give me just a second. Well, so much for that. They closed early. They closed like two and a half hours ago. There was trucks in there. Well, shit. I should have done my earlier. I was going to swing to Safeway and then grab a, just grab like one of those Starbucks fucking things. Because they're like four bucks and my coffee there is like five or six. So it's like, might as well just get that, but whatever. Maybe a little bit caffeinated here. To me right now, I feel like it's like 11, 12 a.m. or 11 or noon, you know? I get like this sometimes and I'll get fucking way behind because of stupid ass living in Podunkies fucking bill. Well, let's get everything on here, I guess, since we're not getting that today. It's fine. Maybe I won't stay up later. Maybe I'll go to sleep. Like I said, though, it usually doesn't keep me up. Grubhub is only on for another couple minutes. Comes a car, of course. Because God forbid I get more than a couple seconds to turn on. Yeah, we'll turn Grubhub on. It might get some sneaky. They're only on until 10, which... They do McDonald's and shit, so I don't know why the fuck they're not open later. Uber's on. Let's turn Instafart on. You know it's a, one of those days. If you see me rocking glasses, then you know it's one of those days. Because when, when have you guys seen me rock glasses? That day I had a migraine and I did that one way on the fucking boonies, but yeah, I usually... Normally I wouldn't, I don't film. I'm feeling okay now, I just feel like it's the morning and I am it's about to be late at night. So I'm way turned around. I'm trying to do the face scan on Instacart without holding my phone up here. Oh, I got the, I took the other charger too from my storage. So I got the other charger plugged in. So now I've got, I got two of the same of these cords. And um, I found that little USB. And I have a cigarette lighter behind here, this armrest, and one in it. So I got those both going. So now we got two chargers. We're fucking golden. No more dying phones this time. Things are getting serious with the glasses on. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that sucks too about these, there's one fucking little thing. These are old. I got them when I had my Costco insurance. And then I went two years, two, maybe even three years. I never went back and got glasses. I never used my insurance. And then I left, so these are old as fuck. But I'm like, oh, really? I was so mad. You know, you, don't, you gotta use that stuff if you guys have it. You never know what's gonna happen. I never thought, I was like, oh, I'll never leave here. I'll be here forever. And you think you'd get free glasses. Their insurance was pretty bomb for that, but 
There's one little fucking thing and it's the little crack or scratch or something and it's right in front of this fucking eye like exactly where I look through. It drives me batty. But, you know, you guys know I'm already crazy. We pulled over here and I'll catch up since I haven't barely read any of the chat. Where's the goddamn this is a weird day. Is he the coffee place? That's the first time I've been going there for fucking years. And that place has never been closed. They've closed early, like maybe like twice. But I've actually got in there. That's so weird. It's just a weird day. I don't know what. It's just fine with me. Something up above or some shit's telling me, you know what? Just do you today and whatever happens, and don't fucking worry about all this other shit because it's just a weird one. So we're over here by Robin. Dasher is not red. Hey, Josh, how you doing? I'm so fucking far behind, it's not even funny. Okay, Charmander, yeah, we read that part. Devious Dasher has to go live because he he is devious and we need him to keep an eye on him to make sure he, he's not up to no good. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> you never know. I just thought it was a cool name when I was thinking of names because it rhymed with that. You know, I was trying to rhyme. Um, and of course now, three or four years later almost. Can't believe it's April. Feels like it just started. Yep, yep, I read that one. Sorry, but yes, that's true. Arcades. Same, I can chug a monster and go right to bed. I don't know about a monster. The problem with monsters, coffee a little bit, but energy drinks, about an hour and a half later, they always make you piss. Like, you're like a racehorse. Like, you gotta go. You don't really drink coffee, yeah. See, I get into it, and then I don't, and I've been on it for a while. If I stop, then it's, I don't know. Then you, you gotta go through the withdrawal, headache kind of shit, and yeah. Ain't yeah. good? The one I get, though I like it, it's got a strong taste, it mixes with my little bars. You know, I if you guys didn't notice too, besides being OCD and, and a weirdo, I've got like a lot of habits. And I got them done today, but I have to do things in a certain way, and just a weird thing how I function. So. How much is coffee at Maverick? I'm not sure. I haven't got coffee over there. They have like that old drip thing. See, I get like a blended, like a like a frap kind of thing, or a big train is what they call it up here. It's basically just blended ice with coffee in it. Is my drink. That's pretty much all I get. It's just really strong blended coffee. Hot coffee's good though if it's cold. Just a dot. What's going on? How you doing? It's one of them days. One of them days. Been weird. In booger. Hey, how you doing? Again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Big shout out to my buddy Gary as well. Uh, just before the live, he uh, sent me a little something too. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Even though I told him not to. But thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all the help. Goes, you know, I'll get there eventually. But with all your guys' help, you know, it's definitely getting there sooner. Today feels kind of like, eh. I didn't make any, you know, I haven't worked. But at least I got, you know chores and shit done so that'll get me ready for the week i won't have to worry about that for you know another seven eight days so at least we got that out there the way i pushed it off last week so everybody's having a good night thank you booger appreciate it cindy hey y'all what's up josh how's the fools treating you today it's been one of those i kind of explained the story earlier but it's just been a little weird today. Woke up feeling not great. Passed out. Did laundry. That kind of thing. And 
everywhere I had to wait and there was lines and stuff and weirdness and so I'm here slow but here I gotta have a few cups of black coffee every day not the same person yeah Josh for sure you gotta have that little bit of a see I'm kind of feeling the, the urge now I'm kind of like eh, so I think I might go over to Safeway I was hoping I'd get an order or something and we could go you know Maybe Gary will come on through tonight. Yeah, hopefully he does. I, you know, he might be in here. Sometimes he hangs out, and or he'll watch it later too. A lot of times he watches it later. My laundry is in the washer now. <laughs> Trish, there you go. That's one thing I, my apartment even didn't have. So I went to the same, you know, the laundry mat for four and a half years. Anyways, when I lived there, yeah, I was almost there five years. Which I hate. I mean, definitely not my favorite thing to do. I hate, you know, someone with OCD in a laundromat. But I've got a lot better, obviously, being in the car with the OCD shit. But, uh, you know, whatever. I got a little bit of time where I was able to do, you know, laundry. Not in those. The nice part is when you go to laundromat, you can put it all in at once. So whether or not you throw it all in the big one or you do, you know, whatever. You can get it all going at once and drying at once. It was full fuck there today, though. There was a shitload of people. Like, every dryer and everything was full, and there's probably, like, there's, like, 40 dryers, so it was packed. Oh, I hate those kind of days. Yeah, it's just a weird, weird stuff happened. And just, everything kept... I kept getting something done, and I figured, oh, this will, you know, I'll get laundry done. I got there, I, I put it in, it was like 3.30, 4 ish, and so I was like, ah, fuck, I could have, I could have been grody and maybe wore the same clothes, but I was like, eh, took a shower, you know, but wear the same, and I was like, nah, I gotta wash these, so I just sucked up and did it, and, you know, nice. I could have been out at a normal time, but. I did that, so fuck up. I was thinking of uh, looking a little off. Looks like it's been one of those days. I know, I know them kind of days. I do laundry every day. It's only a constant in my life. How pathetic is that? <laughs> well, I've been a constant for the last like five days. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have OCD too. The worst. I can't imagine going to the laundromat. Yeah, it sucks. It's, that one's really clean though, so there's only one, the rest are kind of, you know, usually laundromats are in the best areas, so. I, the thought of your clothes and, and on other, and the hair, and what I stopped doing is putting my stuff, I used to go and just throw everything in one big load, and I'll tell you, if you do go to a laundromat, you go to do blankets or something, if you can fit them in the smaller ones, do it. And that's and I'm kind of friends with some of the laundromat ladies because they've been there for years, and I've talked to them and the manager and stuff. And I've seen it. Do not put your stuff in the big, big washers because I used to just shove everything in the one and just say, fuck it, I'll pay, you know, the 12 bucks and do one giant fucking load. Because all the grody people, some of the people, they, the, the mission people and stuff, they get the people with like bed bugs and shit, and that's, they wash them in those big washers. It's disgusting. So maybe it kills them, maybe it don't, but just telling you if you ever have to go wash blankets, sleeping bag, or you get ghetto like me, then don't use the big washers. I don't have a washer in my RV, so I've been here in the apartment. It has been nice to have a washing machine. Yeah, I could, oh, I think I would cry if I could, like, I remember doing a load back in the day, you know, and just leaving it. You just wash it and go to bed, and then you throw it in the dryer or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, or just say, fuck it for two days and then wash it again or whatever, you know? I miss that. Or you can do it and watch TV. But it's like I said, it's not as bad. You can throw everything at once. Not just the DoorDash chips on this channel, Josh. <laughs> that exactly. 
Well, they can't give you any because there's no fucking order. There's not even an Instacart. There's no, my voice cracking. What am I, 12? There's not even a nothing to be found going on tonight, man. This is lame central. So maybe I didn't miss anything. Maybe I would have worked all day and made lost money in GAT. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it was a blessing. Something. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be 76, barf. And then it drops to 55, hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm cloudy. Apocalypse. <laughs> you made it all on tonight. Gary, big shout out, buddy. Thank you, I appreciate you. But no, I kind of told you not to, but thank you, I appreciate it. It will come in handy, obviously. So, special shout out to Gary, is the man of the night. Josh and Booger the other night. I appreciate you guys. John Doe, I think a couple weeks ago was one, and then a Kim. I don't know that they wanted shout outs at all, but they're getting it. I didn't, you know, use anybody's last name or screen name and stuff. But thank you guys. 76 ugly stuff. LD150, how you doing? Oh, Gary, I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. You know, we're out here working. We'll get there. It's just kind of one of those, as long as the car keeps going, which today it has, has not done it all today. Knock on everything in here. Now it's going to fucking do it. Hope it helps. Everything helps. I appreciate it. We had a couple good days over the weekend, too, so we kind of just got got back to, you know, where we can start building, hopefully. Unless something breaks again. Got to get the oil changed. There's always something, you know. But at least we, all the bills are paid. I'm not dying. And I got ice and food and so we're living and you guys, my YouTube family, I appreciate you. I rewatched the end of Sunday. It looked like a pretty good after the dead patch. Oh, our kids, yeah. Yeah, we lost the stream and then, uh, you know, a lot of you guys weren't able to reconnect. So um, we I started another one. I don't know what the hell happened. And then, yeah, I got it turned on fire last night. It was... Well, after order, after order, after order. I think we did 110 yesterday, I think. Something like that. Right when we got done, too, I hit the live stream. I ended it. And I was like, oh, if I take an Uber. And Uber came up for like $8. <laughs> I did. And I was like, eh. I was kind of tired. And I literally, <coughs> I think I might be narcoleptic. Because, no, what I am, actually, I need a CPAP machine. I'm supposed to have a CPAP machine. So I'm not sleep. I'm not getting the full sleep, and that's probably why you don't get you don't get into your rim sometimes if you're sleeping, you know, great. And so I think even if I sleep eight hours, I'm not getting you know the good sleep. And so that's I keep passing out. Anyways, you feeling better? Yeah, they'll be. How you doing? Feeling better? Yeah. A little bit of headache and stuff this morning, but we're doing good. I'd feel really good. If I can get a fucking order or something, because this is, it's not red, it's just dead. Not red, but dead. There ain't no, nothing, even, look at this, even the shitty zone next to me, the one that's always red, that fucker's not even red. So it's just one of those days, I guess. I'm glad... Thanks for reminding me. The bills are due. <laughs> it's going to be a day late. <laughs> Josh. Yeah, today's the first, so let's start with all that shit again. Luckily, at least, I don't. there's not one bill I have to pay at the beginning of the month, which is rent. I guess, you know, since the car's paid for, but yeah, that's at least one nice thing I don't have to worry about. Granted, I think I'd rather pay that than deal with what I deal with, but hey, whatever. Got a lot on your mind. Stressors high for you right now. Under 
understable, uh, understandable you're not getting good sleep. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. I've just been in a weird thing, and it is what it is. We're just... I feel like I get out here, and I kind of get into my groove. That's my, my sweet spot, so... Usually, if I'm not filming, most of the days I'll be listening to music. Blast. Yeah, no yawning. I just came on here. I'll be blasting music or something, or um, listening to a podcast. I gotta show you guys something. Will be the only thing I say saved me was a thirty-five dollar shop in order uh, and a thirty-six shop in order. Oh well, that's good. Yeah. There's nothing, literally not one Instacart, not one Uber, and we've been on for, I turned on at least 15 minutes ago, not one offer. Yeah, shop orders, well, most, you guys seen on the videos, that usually saves my ass, but if I'm not on Dash, I can't. I have a feeling, though, we probably, I bet you, within the next 20 minutes, this will turn red, because everybody will end. The people that are, because it's probably slow. And then I'll pick up, I'll get some McDonald's over there. Maybe I have one or two little McDonald's and then maybe a shop or something. I almost guarantee it. That's usually what happens. Now, you know, what, am I going to make 20 bucks today? Well, whatever. 20 bucks is better than no bucks, I guess. Let's see if I can find this. Now, I was watching, I told you guys I was watching... Okay. I'm boring myself, I guess. So I was watching reels. I gotta find this. This shit is one of the funniest fucking things that I've seen in a long time. Now, I don't know if I'll get copyrighted. I really don't give a shit because I'm not monetized. So watch this. Summer. Hey you, give me your clothes. What'd you say to me, boy? I said give me your fucking clothes! The frog is sent from the future. Hi-ho! Kermity Frog here. Are you Sarah Connor? Yes. Okay, well... To destroy Sarah Connor. The Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. And it won't stop until you're dead. Hey, who wants to sing the alphabet? And only one man can stop it. Rucka, rucka, motherfucker! <laughs> yep, I'm dead. The Terminator. <laughs> now that's isn't that is the most hilarious fucking thing that I've seen <laughs> in so long. Waka waka, motherfucker. Oh my god. That was a real. The Terminator, dude. That shit was hilarious. I was dying. I watched it like fucking 20 times. This summer. Oh my god. It's this this thing, Anna Munch. A N I M U N C H. They have all kinds of these videos. I didn't dig deep, but there was like three or four of them I seen, but that one was hilarious I was dying <laughs> oh my god the Terminator waka waka motherfucker <laughs> oh, that was so funny my god white hoops 30 white hoops yeah that sounds familiar I don't know if I, I don't know who you are. I don't remember you, but it sounds familiar. I've been doing this channel a long time, so if you were around, I don't know. I can tell you the OG, there's an OG, Debbie, that makes some comments, and she actually, I had a different channel. That wasn't DoorDash, it was some other content, and then, um, uh, it was a slot channel years, like three or four years ago. When I thought, you know, maybe I could do that in the DoorDash when I was doing that stuff, but yeah, it didn't work out. And obviously I can't go anymore because I can't afford that. But anyway, she was on that channel and this one, and she's been on there since like 30 subs. So she comments sometimes, she's an OG. I don't know if, why it is. You're the dude who wanted the shot out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Late night stream. Yeah, Shane. Slot channel. I used to like three, yeah, three or four years ago. I started one and poof, didn't really take off. I stopped going because I couldn't anymore. But I used to watch them all the time and then play, I'd play a lot of the online games and try to stream some of that shit. But yeah, I just never ended up taking off. And then I started doing the Dasher one and the Dash stuff more. Oh, I love the slots too. I miss them. Been a long time. Devious Gambler. Big fan of Casino Night. <laughs> For sure, it's fun. You just gotta be careful. Kick your ass. I lived in Vegas, so of course I love the Booger. We watched some of the Scratch Off guys. Yeah, see, I could never really get my. I, it was when I first started and I was starting to edit and stuff, and so I never really. I don't really, you know. I never had the bankroll, too. Those fucking people, you know, I had more, more than I have now, obviously, but those people that were do those slot channels, you know, they're sitting there spending thousands of dollars, you know, it's like pfft, $50 spins and shit, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, not gonna. The scratch-off ones are cool, too. I feel like scratch-offs, <laughs> You never end up winning back, which the casino, at least sometimes, I felt like I would win. I would always love going, though, because you get the the comps. So I would justify, like, if I could do, if I could go and keep my losses pretty minimal, I would treat it as, like, a trip. But then, you know, the casino pays for my room and some of the food and stuff, so my losses were absorbed into that. Obviously, there were times I went the other way. Or times that I won too, so at the end of the day, kind of probably kind of evened out. But yeah, you just got to be a little bit careful. Tell you what, though, if you like slots and stuff, you can't. Living in Vegas is hard because if you go to the movies, you didn't know this. Like the movie theaters are in the back of the casinos, so you have to walk through the casinos. A lot of the food and the restaurants, you got to walk through the casino. Obviously, designed that way. Plus, they give you all kinds of crazy, so when you're out of town, people, they give you guys, you know, you get rooms and shit, you know, to go to Vegas, or you get two nights, or whatever that shit. When you are live there, they give you, like, weekly gifts, and, like, uh, slot cash, and shit like that, so you can go in, and they want you in there each week, obviously, so they, they, give, they hook it up, like, they give you lots of stuff. And cool presents and shit. At least they're back then. This was like 10 years, 15 years ago. My first scratcher, I hit 2500 on a $25 ticket. Been hooked since. No way, Josh. Holy shit. Penny slots are the way. Yeah, that's what I always played arcades. There are some good food in the Vegas casinos. Yeah. I miss the old buffets, but I think they closed a lot of them. You know, a lot, I like, you guys know I like the basic, but I really loved the Rio buffet. Even though it was super basic, they had a really good buffet because they had like, this is going to sound so white trashy, but they had like macaroni and cheese, chicken fingers, like fries, normal food like you know when you go to the buffets they have weird fancy they, no not Rio they got they had like probably the like more like the buffet on fucking Vegas vacation where you know they stack it all in the one plate you know just white trash food I guess I don't know it was fucking funny but I liked it and if you played there you know you get comped your I got to one time they they messed up my room or something, and they gave me, like, the super... I actually have a video of it, too. They gave me the super room. They messed up the room, like, three times. And then this was back when it real was kind of at least decent. And then they upgraded me to, the like, this VIP fucking suite thing, and it had, like, all the electric curtains and TVs in the bathroom and shit. It was all fancy, and they gave me all these points, and it threw me into, a like, the their super tier... And so when I went into Rio, I could go in to any of the stuff. Like, 
I had one of the cards that was like the top tier player card or whatever. And because they messed up and they gave me some weird kind of points or something. So for that year, I did, I'd skip the line. Like, we're, like you go to Vegas and the buffets and all the restaurants. Now nah, you just fucking flash the card. Boom. It was being, it was like being a halfway famous person or something. It was pretty cool. It's gotten zero orders, yeah. Now I haven't had one fucking thing. I've been on for half an hour. That's why we're talking shit. Haven't been to a buffet. Haven't been to a buffet forever. Last one I went to was uh, Sweet Tomatoes. Yes, I remember that chain. They were good. I liked their. They had like salad bar, um, you know, snacky type food, soup and stuff. It was good. I like sweet tomatoes. You ever play my Vegas? I don't anymore, but I used to. I had this one I was into. See, those ones would get in, those games, I don't like getting into them too because then I want to buy the chips and shit. You know, sometimes you lose and you got to buy the, I just avoid it because then I end up, you know, wasting money, which I obviously don't have. Especially with this shit. <clears throat> this is pathetic. Look at this. Not nothing still. Not even a five dollar, not a seven dollar, nothing. Not red yet. No time no time in there. Well, at least we went live for five tonight, but I don't know about work. Uber, nothing. Even if I had Spark, it'd be closed. This is the worst day of all the year for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I got to blame it on myself. It's super late, so this isn't. It's kind of just a, one of those. It's one of those, you know, it's like, I don't, it's not that big of a deal. I didn't expect to make a million dollars. Now, I would like to make like 20 bucks tonight or something. Cover my gas and laundry, you know, running around. I always like to make something each day if I can, but there's no orders or no orders. I think it's a blessing maybe because maybe that's why I didn't go out all day. Don't get excited in order and accept the, accidentally accept the $2 order. No problem, I won't. Shit, there's not even those. Kind of pointless, but I thought I might, you know, I thought it might turn red and I might be able to do an order or two with you guys and shoot the shit, but apparently we're just shooting the shit, which is cool. Sometimes we don't get that chance to do that. Booger, we want to go back to ba 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 back Chanel. Is that a casino they over there? Or back now? Or am I saying it weird? Oh my God, a radar. $3. Someone fucking took it. You see that? $3. I don't know what the mileage is. I can't even. Still, someone, another driver matched this. What the hell? It must be bad tonight if people are taking that shit. Oh, at Caesars. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I used to get, like I said, I'd play and get comps and shit. And, um,. My ex, gra uh, I was part of, I don't know, whatever the club, Caesars had uh, Planet Hollywood and all that. So like, you know, you were, there was a few of them. I never got to use and got a comp to use at Planet Hollywood. You could go on there and you get free nights on their website portal thing for club holders. 
And one time I got this really good comp for Caesars and we didn't end up using it, but she, of course, told her old manager or something, he was coming up from Arizona and she's like, yeah, he can use it. And so they fucking used my comp, which is fine, but I never got a, I went and, you know, met him down there and checked in the room or whatever and gave him my comp for, it was like two days or something. And, but I never got to stay there, but I've, I seen the room obviously, cause it was, you know, to me, we walked over with them and yeah, it was super nice. It was really fancy schmancy. When I would go, a lot of the times I'd go to Planet Hollywood. That was kind of my, my jam just cause it was in the center. I liked it. And they always played like the cool music and stuff. Never really won that great in Vegas. I don't think I ever, I won better at the local casinos you know, living there than I ever did. I didn't go to the strip that much. I'd only go like, we would go on the weekends sometimes and go stay, you know, like, you know, you have the weekend off. We would take like a Saturday, Sunday off or something or Sunday, Monday, or, and then go stay down on the strip and, you know, you go to the pool and do all that shit. That's the cool part about living there. That and all the concerts come to you and all that. And it wasn't expensive as it is now. Back then it was a little bit better. I stayed at the wind when we went pretty nice. Yeah, the wind's really nice. My aunt was there and I visited her. She came down and then she said, oh yeah, you know, I went and met her over there. It was fancy schmancy. One 200 at the Golden Nugget, that's about it. <laughs> I walked away and left my card in too many machines to ever get a call. <laughs> you gotta get the cord, Josh, the, the bungee cord. <laughs> Honestly, if I win, I, there's a guy that I watch that I haven't watched in a while, but he's like a British guy on YouTube, and uh, he goes all the time, fucking flies over and goes. He's retired. I'm obviously rich, but uh, he goes to, there's a bunch of the ones downtown I look cool, and then like Circa, which is new. I haven't been to Vegas. Last time I went was when I moved here, and I didn't even stop. I drove through Vegas at night because I came from Arizona. Me and my ex broke up. I moved out. I lived, you know, in my own apartment for a while. And then I ended up coming back home. And uh, I drove through Vegas. It was like, it's only six hours from Phoenix or something like that. But I was in the middle of the night and I just drove right through. I drove straight here. It was like 16 hours or something. Maybe I stopped right out. Maybe I stopped in like Tri Cities or something. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't make it all the way here, but I made it almost all the way up here. So when you walk around, it snaps back and smacks you in the behind. <laughs> I walked away and left my car. <laughs> Josh, you got that beard protection. I don't know how long if it goes that long. Well, I wouldn't be hitting you in the ass, I guess. As long as it doesn't hit you in the jewels, buddy. <laughs> Morning, Sharon. From Malta. How you doing? We had a weird day. If you want to see at the beginning, once this goes live, you can see the post. But yeah, it's a weird day and no orders. And we kind of went on late and waiting to get something. But nothing's going on absolutely nothing this is probably one of the slowest nights i've ever seen usually i can at least get one order like this is amazing didn't miss yeah much just lots of tangents <laughs> okay yeah me all over the place i'm doing good feeling a little bit better was a little shaky this morning but we got it I'm a little shaky now because it's dead. If some driver is taking $3, you know it's penny. Yeah, exactly, arcades. And that was fast, too. Like, it beeped. I showed you guys, and they matched right away. But we're going to move, obviously, because where we are is not working. All right, well, let's get some... At least a little bit of action going here. Something. 
Please don't fucking move. Down by the mall, yeah, yeah, maybe. Me and my dad would go play Pie Gal at the casinos. Yeah, Pie Gal's in a very interesting game, that's for sure. Easy, but weird. My dad is a bur uh, bad gambler. He would lose $1,000, and I keep telling him to stop. Yeah, that, yeah, you gotta be careful. Come back and kick you in the ass real quick. When you get into the zone, you feel like you're, oh, I'll win it back, I'll win it back. And yeah, I've done that a lot. I've been down that road. ghetto coffees or at least a shot or something wake my ass up a little bit and not that I need to be but I'm telling you I know my I know and if I go without a coffee all day and night and then tomorrow it probably won't be until you know midday I'm gonna be hurting maybe an order will come up when we're in the store <laughs> I take what I plan to lose and hit big, put half of my wallet and don't touch it. Yeah, that's good. I used to, I got to the point where I started leaving the, in the car. I'd leave my card, certain car, you know, leave your cards that way. I never had a big bankroll, so I wouldn't, you know, it wasn't like I, it was just whatever, you know, I got paid basically. I've never had any. I don't think, it, yeah, my whole life, I've never had savings or anything. There's never been any major access. I had a couple of big checks before. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, that's not horrible. We're going to take it. I hate Jack in the Box, but now if this is with this Jeremy, then he always tips me more. How fucking, how fucking sick do I know my market? How sick. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. TV is fucking, that's sick. I know the customer before I even click on it. Still getting something to drink. Yeah, he orders a bunch of shit. He does like a construction thing. You know what? And this is all meant to be. And he usually gives me 10, 15, 20 dollar cash, and he'll tip like 10, 15 bucks on the app too. Every time I get him. So I'll end up usually I'll get up 25 to 40 bucks on this order. Doesn't matter where you Taco Bell. Pizza Hut, whatever he orders. Nice. That's sick. I cannot believe I called it. There's a couple people out there that order. over here. Yeah, those, see, yeah, I couldn't do those. I'd be up all night. Coffee, though, I might be all right. Jesus, these things are crazy. Look at these fucking five bucks for that. Those used to those be like two dollars. Used to be able to get the whole full, the four pack was like six bucks. Wonder if this Duncan one's better. I don't know. It's only a dollar difference. I don't know the taste. I know what these taste like. 
Wish I was frozen. If you can get these, you freeze them and then shake them. I got. Oh, those are the same ones. I thought they might have the smaller bottles, unless you get these fucking shots in a can. Price wise, better, but. I had one of those ones, I, the coffee was weak because they had new people, and I poured one of those in it. Oh my god, those nitro brews. Those fuckers. Put hair on your chest. Sorry, I can't see the chat. I'll we'll go get that jack in the box. I'll read it here. Uh, you know what I need? Oh shit! I need to get a sprite too. We'll get it later. If you have your club card, please scan it now. If you have your club card, please scan it now. Your card has been accepted. Total is, and your savings is, 50 cents. Please wait. System processing. Follow the Thanks, too. All right, let's go get some Jack in the Box. This will make some money tonight. I guarantee I'll get at least 20 from this, for sure. Old Albertson's cart. That tree's cool looking. The flowers came out of. Oh my god, the fucking lock worked. Okay, let's see what we got here. What are you guys up to? Tiny talkers, those so good, <laughs> booger. I'm, I'm told you I'm way behind. Coming in clutch, Gary. Wow, you are good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here on the phone. I'll be here with my son. Be right back. Oh, you're good, Cindy. Don't worry about it. It's kind of a bullshit stream tonight, anyway. So nothing too exciting yet. We'll see what Jeremy does here. Sometimes he's a little weird. I don't know. He's cool, but he's a little off. Sometimes. Then he he'll yeah. Oh, then hell yeah, it's worth it. Arcades. Winco has cheap drinks. That's true. They do. I get a lot from there. Another life hack: frozen coffee. <laughs> Josh. Uh, what time do you have to go get the jack in the crack? Uh, you got 15 minutes on Uber, so I'm good. Follow the instructions on the keypad. Oh, <laughs> the fucking stupid, yeah. 
check out. Oh man, Albertsons, those were everywhere before Safeway bought them out. I like the Albertsons. Their chicken was really good. It was all greasy skin. <laughs> I got these people pulling in next to me. I get so many evil looks because my car, I don't think, because they don't think I have a handicap and then they see the handicap sticker, they get so pissed off. I've only had one lady yell at me so far, but I didn't put it in the window or I didn't hang it up yet. And she literally came and knocked on my door like a care, super Karen. And I threw it in her face and flipped her off. Starting to rain here, supposed to be bad storms tonight. Oh, I'm jealous, I love it. Ice coffee has really gone up in price. I used to buy the big half gallons, now they're over six dollars. Too much, yeah. The, even this was too, like, for that, but I could drink part, I might just drink part of it and then put it in the cooler. I mean, it'll be good for a little bit. I just need a, something. I don't have any energy drink back there or nothing. Usually I, oh, I do have a five hour energy drink somewhere. That's why I don't buy these. It's just as much to go get my coffee at the coffee place. What the, you're not saving anything. I used to get these and drink them from Costco. You'd get a case for like 20, 24 bucks or something. You'd get like 16 or 20 in the case. And that's what I would do is I'd freeze them and they'd be like kind of like frappuccinos but cheaper, you know, to save money and but not anymore. Trish Young, we don't have Safeways on the island anymore. Oh, what kind of stores you got, Trish? Good to sleep too. <laughs> Devious, I'm not getting nothing. Give me your order. <laughs> well, hopefully this should be a pretty bomb one. Because Jeremy usually hooks it up. We'll see. Even if he doesn't, shit, it's still 12 bucks. I'm gonna check Dasher to see if it's red. It is! Motherfucker. 11 to 11.30 schedule. Get away from me, car. Jesus Christ. He's literally sitting right next to me with his headlights in the fucking mirror. There you go, okay. Oh, the sweet, sweet taste of caffeine. These are definitely aren't my favorite. I think I tried that Dunkin' one that was a little cheaper. I don't think I liked it. They had them down in Phoenix. I think I actually tried their coffee in store too and it tasted different to me. Not that I'm a huge fan of Starbucks either, but there was a point in time. Good thing about Starbucks is they're consistent. For a while, you could go to McDonald's and get, they have the little caramel fraps and whatever, mocha fraps or whatever. You used to be able to add shots to them. Now, for the average idiot McDonald worker, it was hard for him to figure out to put hot coffee in there. But if you got one that was smart enough, they'd put less coffee in there, or fill it, and then dump the shot in. So, obviously, it would rise and not overflow the cup. But yeah, you could get shots added. And see, I like a strong, so I would get a shot or two added. And they were cheap. You get, they were like three bucks. Even with the shots, like three fifty or something cheaper than the six seven whatever and you don't have to tip if you're asleep you don't need the naders coming what the naders superstore thrifty foods quality foods <laughs> Superstore, I just think of the, the, isn't that the store on that show, the the retail one where they were like, Cloud Nine employees, I think that show was called Superstore, when they were, it was like a fake Walmart, and they worked in it or something. 
Victoria has more. The coffee ice cream machine is always broken at my local one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fucking McDonald's is always broken. I don't know why they bother. Or it's, if it's late at night, they always say it's broken. I don't think it's actually broken. Yes, we love that show. <laughs> that was a good one. I liked it. It was a little corny, but it was not bad. Like, it was a decent. For a corporate, you know, network show, it wasn't bad. I've got the uh, order for Jeremy, the Uber. Okay, All right, thank you. Just probably like this one. Waka waka, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I couldn't wait to show you guys that. I haven't seen that and I was like, oh, I have to do that on the live tonight. That was fucking hilarious. That was the best. That sums my humor up right there. 12 year old humor. Well, sort of. There was a bunch of 12 year olds at the gym tonight. I don't know what the, I don't know what they age. I wanted to ask them like at the counter. I'm like, what's the age limit? There are a bunch of, maybe I'm old now. So people that are 18 look 12. I don't know. Probably, I think it's 18, so whatever. This off so she doesn't look right at the phone. Hello, Hello. Can for that order? Jeremy K. Sure. She's like, oh fuck, the big one. That's a huge order. Did you start it yet? He's got a couple kids and stuff, so hash brown, large curly fry, meat lover burrito, two tacos, large fry, sausage bre bacon breakfast, no, sausage breakfast jack. Oh, yeah, they do breakfast all day. Chicken nuggets, bacon, cheeseburger. Thank you. You guys were fast. Yeah, they had a big one. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. In the water? Thank you, you too. Holy shit. I might... Yeah, I'll put that in the hot bag for him. It's going a little distance. Breakfast at 10 p.m. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> yeah, this is literally for, my, for me. What's up, dude? Jackson, how you doing? I'm hungry. Well, I wish you were here so you can order some fucking food because it's been slower. And we waited like 30 minutes. I never even turned the tracker on, son of a bitch. We'll turn it on now. At least track will work. I'm driving. I'm gonna put his food in the back real quick. Take care of our tipping customers. Especially ones like that their door lock works. I ain't a huge Jack in the Box fan, but that shit smells bad. And a Dasani. He's probably like, he's probably going, damn, that Josh guy is coming. I gotta fucking tip him again. <laughs> I always tip him good, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't think you give $200. I don't think you'll give $200. You look nine. If you say hi, I will give you $200. Well, hi, uh... A Lang Gaming 68. If I get a cash out for 200 fucking dollars, 
from some little kid or whoever. <laughs> Arcade, that's funny. <laughs> you look like you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have Jack in the Box here. Yo, you don't, Trish? Yeah, it's okay. Ours are kind of... Uh, depends, like... Sometimes there's okay working, like, people that actually care. This one, a lot of the times, has, like, people that do not give a fuck. So, they're usually really... Usually, I'll have to wait quite a while when I get their orders, to be honest. But there was nobody in the drive-thru, and obviously by the show of orders tonight, it's incredibly fucking slow, so. Sirens! Yakima Special! Hey, hey, we got all kinds of people in here. Holy shit. Name a car for a edit. When are you dropping the OnlyFans boat fishing yet? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to fucking see that. Why did Paul Walker cross the street and he wasn't wearing a seatbelt? Okay, Austin. We crossed the line at Fast and Furious Strokes, okay? That's the era. But anyways, if there's actually any of you guys that truly want to subscribe, please do. We've been going live each day to try to hit 500. A little late today, but we're still on here. It's DoorDash, Uber Eats. Random funny things. Life hacks. Bullshit. Talk of shit. Cop videos. There's one right there to my right. Come stay right there, you motherfucker. Yeah, he stayed there. Yeah, I agree, Ben. No Paul Walker jokes. Come on. Well, Mark, Marco. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just crossed the lane, that's for sure. How much uh, done to shave the beard? Sus, well, we'd have to hit, hit the thousand real quick to shave the beard. That's a... Uh, Face protector, my man. Now, Josh, just Dot, has got the beard, not me. He's got the glorious beard. Yes, thank you, wrenches. I got some weirdos in here. I'm still waiting on that order. <laughs> we got some clowns in here. We must be trending on the thing or something because yeah there's 31 people we've never had 31 people in here nobody else is streaming because there's no fucking orders out oh marco or whatever the fuck bye loser Arcades, appreciate you cleaning up, or Cindy, if whoever's taking care of some of these 12 year old clowns. Some little 12 year old find me on a fucking, put me on their little chat or something. It's funny because when I said that, that's weird because when I was saying that about the gym, it literally that's when it went up. I said that, and then all of a sudden we had all those people come in. We'll flip it around. It's on the freeway. I never told you how far either. Shit, and I never hit the 
a hit pickup? Oh no, I didn't. Holy shit. Slacking. Well, we got five more minutes to him. Oh Jesus. I was way up in the buck of all the bullshit. Trish, thank you. Hit the like button for me, please. Yeah, there was a lot at once, Arcades. I don't know what the hell was going on. Paul Walker played an episode of Highway to Heaven. He was good. He played a st uh, stuttering kid. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a flashback, Gary. Highway to Heaven. Appreciate it. I like watching your live streams. I hope you get some good deliveries. Hey, we'll take anything tonight, pretty much. Arcades is knocking them out of the park here. Thank you, buddy. Oh, Cindy, don't worry about it. You don't, don't, you take care of you, you know? Don't. Ah, shit, he doesn't live on this one. Fuck, I turned the wrong one. I'm used to going on this exit. He's, like, an exit up. That's what happens when I'm reading shit. I suppose there's a reason they don't want you to use your phone and drive. <laughs> Crackamaw, Yakima, same thing. <laughs> Where in the world are you? Never seen no traffic. Uh, this is a little outskirts, so basically this goes to the pass that is closed because of the snow. It's closed during the winter, but this goes up to the woods and there's lakes and stuff up here, and river, but eventually it goes to a pass, so there wouldn't be as much traffic because it's closed and these are all kind of boonies houses out here so not a busy area tonight I don't know what the hell's going on it's April Fool's on dashers I guess I don't fucking know I did get half an hour on DoorDash though so I got 11 to 11.30 it was red but since we're doing this I didn't turn on We'll just turn on when we come back in. Hey, the trolls boosting viewers, so I don't care. Yeah, right. We've been fucking pumping up, man. I'm sure there's some in the background that are silent, which is fine. Whatever. Want to hate. What they don't realize is when you give thumbs up or down and do all that shit, it still helps the channel. Central Northwest, you're right, Chris. Yakima, Washington, middle of nowhere. Two and a half hours from Seattle. Ain't a goddamn fucking thing here. Nothing worth it. Unless you like hunting and fishing. Or fruit, or wine. Yes, thanks, Gary. Appreciate you. Everybody come in. If you can, sub, please. Let's get to 500. I think my, uh, my subs want me to start making normal videos again, too. <laughs> I 
And I can't make videos if I'm making lives. Actually, I think a lot of people have said they like lives. So. I do miss the videos. I don't miss the editing, that's for sure. We still only got corn. <laughs> Corn and more corn. Yeah, we don't have any corn up here. It's it too cold. Woohoo, wine. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of wineries up here, Booger. There's all over the place. Because all the grapes and stuff. That's a big thing they started doing too is the like the wine tour you know where the they have a lot they have a couple i've delivered to these like airbnb like fancy houses that are in the wineries and sometimes they'll have like california type people come down and they'll they'll order a bunch of doordash and shit i don't get them very often so it's been a little it's been a hot minute since i've had one all right so obviously i'm not gonna show it so much Jeremy enjoy have a good night buddy all right guys let's see what he gave me I always feel weird because I it's like this thing now with him that um, like when I'm handing him the stuff like he always gives me extra cash, but it's like a weird thing now. Like, I don't expect it, but he still does it. Oh, fuck, it looks like he smashed, he has a construction thing. Looks like his truck got fucked up. Look at that, holy shit. He asked me to go work for him, but I, I don't know the hard to tell. It's construction stuff and the way, you know, the stuff that he would be doing would, um, I think it'd be hard with the injuries and stuff I have the, to do that kind of job every day for me, but, you know. Dude, what did I tell you? 120 miles an hour. Uh, pull or can you not drive like that? Hmm? See, I was meant to go late. We got all these views. 15 bucks. Cash tip. And that was 11. And he usually up tips on that too. So what's that? 15, 26, 27 bucks. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make my night. Nice, I know. I need to put it in my tracker. Oh, I was going to mention that yesterday too, by the way. I don't know if any of you guys use Gridwise. They just put out a thing so you can put your you know, tips and stuff in here. Like I track all that. You know, and you select, you know, near DoorDash or whatever, Uber, Uber Eats. So it was Uber Eats and then tips. And then that's how I know I can go back and look at any cash tips I've got for whatever. So see, I can track it. I love Gridwise. It's amazing now. But they're just starting to charge for it. And see, it'll give you like what you made for the week there. You log into all your stuff and it'll track it. And you can track your expenses. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, they're gonna start charging though as of 
I think this week or something. So you can still use it and track, but if you're going to the, you want it to sync your shit, you have to pay where it automatically, you know, knows, I don't have to put anything in there but tips or like expenses, but if I don't upgrade to the $6 a month or whatever, they're gonna make they're gonna make you manually put in you know like I made twenty on Uber and ten on Door. Fuck that. Kind of sucks. It was a good app, but you know you can't offer all that shit for free. I've been using it for a couple of years, and it'll break down. I've actually used it. Uh, it'll put your money per thing, and you can send it to yourself as a PDF. And I used that when I bought this car because I tracked all, all my money and it, it automatically syncs. And so I had all everything that I made was um, situated right onto that uh, PDF and they just email it. So you're all good. Is this a cop? What is it? There's a car at the bar with its fucking yellow lights on. Oh no, this is a truck. Probably drunk sitting in there waiting to sober up. Ugh. Oh, we missed a bunch of people. $19 Safeway, holy shit. Someone stag it? Oh, yep, someone got it already, motherfuckers. That popped up and was gone instantly. Sorry, I'm way behind on the chat. I know I am. I'll let you guys, we'll stay on it at least to let you know. Well, maybe. I'll try to stay on at least to let you guys know what the his tip comes out of. If not, I'll tell you tomorrow. If we don't make it that far. We're gonna turn DoorDash on because we have time. I must be in a dead nothing that's not working. Motherfucker. It's a good like stop sign area where I can do this before I get on the road. Oh! Phone jumped. Problem with magnets. Hit dash now. Let's see if it fucking loads. There it goes. Dash is already checked in. Yeah, I know, because I hit it fucking ten times because you weren't responding. I told you guys, I knew his order would be bomb. Sometimes I feel bad, though. It's like, I don't, I'm like, geez, he so overpays me. He always orders late like this. It's always like 10, 30, 11. He's a working man. Where the fuck are we at? Doggies. Spooky. <laughs> I try to grow corn in Montana. Definitely not worth it. Yeah. Probably too cold, too. Good deal. Look at all kinds of new people in here. Chris, Tampa Bay, Florida. Construction sucks. Fam does concrete and steel really hard on the bot. Yeah. And I got some broken discs. So, and I have arthritis and my elbows and shit already and my hands. Uh, I had hand surgery when I was young and it's all fucking gimp. I'm gimped already. I was gimped young enough. I thought when I was young, I thought I'd throw all kinds of jacks, concrete, all kinds of shit over my shoulder when I was working at Home Depot and Sears and throw all this big stuff. And I worked in lumber too and Home Depot. And yeah, it fucked me up. Uh, so if you're young, make sure lift with your knees. And if you can't lift it, don't push yourself because you'll pay in about 10 years. Sweet. You're so cool. Thanks, Potato. Appreciate you. Where are you from? Potato, I am from Yakima. Actually, I'm from Tacoma. I was born in Tacoma, Washington. Armpit of Alaska. I don't know. It's kind of a... They redid it a little bit. It's a little nicer. It's kind of a shithole. Parents went back and forth. I turned 18, bounced around being a manager at 
Spokane, Tri Cities. Uh, then I had a big dream, moved to Vegas, moved back and forth a couple times, Phoenix. Came back here to be by my family. They all broke up and then there were sides chosen. And I was the shit into the stick because I went with the mom side and this. And Led to another was, uh, sister's sister kicked me out so I'm a dasher in the car nobody chooses my life choices they, they are they don't like my lot of my choice to be a dasher so I'm it and I answer to me and the old beast American's whole life tied to the dollar yeah that will instrumental conductor I don't disagree with you but unfortunately the dollar makes the world go around even if you don't care about being broke which I don't obviously but you still gotta have you got bills and gas and food and stuff you gotta take care of you gotta at least go up there and get it at least try I go out every day and I try and I try to do this and be on YouTube and try to do everything else then at least I tried. If I fail at the end of the day and everything went to shit and I made no money or whatever happens at the end of the day I can go well I tried I did the best I could. OFC you're not sponsored. I'm not not even monetized. Why the hell would they gridwise want to help me? Can you say go dogs? UGA fan? Go dogs? <laughs> I'm new here and I'm enjoying the channel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Lone Star Will. Subbed in light. You seem like a good dude. Rooting for you and hope you it's big tips. Well, thank you, Lone Star Will. I appreciate it. Get some positivity up in here. Can you see Go Dogs? I already did. Have you made any money off of streaming yet? I'm surprised if you haven't. I have made no money off of streaming. You don't make money off of YouTube until you have a thousand subscribers. At 500, I can have you guys send me super chats through YouTube, but uh, I can also create a store and so I can sell stickers or hats or whatever. And then I can have a membership only, like if I wanted to do a membership only live, then you guys could have a subscription and then I could charge, you know, whatever, five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month or whatever, where then you would have access to so there's some definite perks about being to 500. The goal was, is we were just taking a while doing the videos. And so the whole goal was just to put out a ton of content for you. And I wasn't getting much out with editing and stuff. And so I said, ah, fuck it. And then the Live with Five kind of came up and I thought it was clicky and sounded cool. And yeah, we said, ah, fuck it, we'll go with it. So nobody, I've had some extremely generous viewers uh, on my bio page there's a cash app or a uh, paypal i don't ask for that if you want to you can if you want to help thank you i know we're all struggling no matter where you fall on the scale everything's expensive so I, again i will be okay if you do or don't of course if you do i really truly appreciate it definitely does help. I typically uh, run it with about uh, two digits in my bank account, so it's usually about under a hundred bucks, so definitely not full. Yeah, there ain't no savings. It's this car, me, and driving, and going day to day. That's what it is. And uh, thank you. We have some, quite a few loyal viewers that have reached out and, and helped out so thank you so much my new family my YouTube family 
Josh, Gary, John Doe, and Kim. And Booger. Sorry, Booger. Josh and Booger. One of these days I'll get better at throwing you in there, sorry. I don't mind here, but I'm kind of cruising. I'm gonna stop up here. Got DoorDash on and Uber still, so nothing kind of popping. That Instacart for 19. It was a Safeway too. Probably this good one I like. Some fucker snatched it up, which I don't blame him because it's April drought. I don't think I've ever seen it so slow. But at least Jeremy will kind of help out. Do you mean 1K subs, Gavin? Correct. Yeah, everyone that's watching, subscribe. Thank you, Gavin. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm back now. Oh, no problem, Cindy. I hope uh, everything's good and, you know, you know, it's okay with your son. Sorry to hear it's not a good situation in any anyway. Uh, friend of Eli, yo, what's going on? Josh, do you get an A-plus for effort? You do your best. Well, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. Yeah, today, like today, when I don't get out, I mean, who's, who works seven days a week all the time? I mean, some people have to, you know, some people work two jobs and stuff, too, and work hard. I mean, I'm, I'm never going to say I'm the hardest worker, but I do feel guilty, like, today, if I didn't get out and, you know, grind it out, you know, for as long, but, you know, at least I'm out here doing this. I could have just went and watched a movie and went to bed or something. We're still trying. And look, we got rewarded with Jeremy and, and all you guys. Probably some new subs, so. Thanks, Arcades. It's been fun. Got to get up early in the morning. Have a good night. Thank you, Booger. It's probably way behind, but appreciate you. I know um, you guys are at East Coast or at least Midwest, so it's super late. Sweet dreams, Booger. Stay safe. God bless. Got to hit the hay. Be safe, hopefully. Hopefully you get them big offers. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Good night, everybody. Sophie, hello. I'm a little behind. Sweet dreams, just a dot. That's a lyric in one of my favorite songs. Sleep well. Good night to the other Josh. Just a dot. Night, y'all. Cindy, hey, Sophie. Luckily, Jeremy saved the fucking day. Yeah, arcades. No shit. I should have told him that. You're the only person that pronounced my name right. Well, thanks, Kevin. We're almost caught up. Hey, gotta go to my daughter. His dog is throwing up. Well, Trish, hopefully feels better. Sorry. Ray Ray, uh, your dad died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We had a tornado, Missouri bullshit tonight. 146 hours. Not bad. That's what, 20 an hour? Well, it's over 20 an hour. That sounds good. We we good. Life and shit happens all the time. Yep, got to breathe and get through it. Exactly. Goodbye, Trish. Hopefully it's an easy clean. <laughs> good luck. Uh, friend of Eli, actually five hours. Well, that's, that's a hell of a night, friend of Eli. UGA fan, do you watch college football? I do not. I don't watch any football, really. I watched the Super Bowl. I played football. I was forced to play sports, which, you know, I grew up old school, so we didn't have a choice. And so I think I was pushed, and I didn't like it because I was pushed because I don't like being told what to do, so it's kind of one of those things. Never got into it. Never been a big beer and buddies and that kind of thing. I'm kind of a loner, OCD weirdo person, but somehow I can go and make YouTube videos. 
Thank you, Gavin. Is everybody still watching and subscribed yet? Please do. I'm trying to get to 500. We started at 420 something, 424. I am. Thank you, GTA Master. Appreciate you. Rayway, why do you say your dad died on everybody's stream? Ah, is he one of those? Power went out while I was pulling up to pick up a PF Chang's. Whoa, that's weird. That probably would have been a good order, too. That sucks. Because PF Chang's is kind of fancy, right? I was the same with piano. Yeah, UGA fan. Yeah, so you get it. It's like when you're forced to do it, it's like you do, really don't. I've seen the college football would have been cool to get into because they're so, you know, you guys are so into it. I uh, I did go watch a Cougars game with a buddy when I was in like 20 years old or something. We went into, uh, you know, the Pullman and it was a fun experience. We got to go around. They had like a bowling alley, walk around and look at the different stuff and watch the game. It started snowing. This was probably 25 years ago. No, like 22 years ago. It was cool, but yeah, I just never, never got into it. GOX, who is Ray Ray? Yeah, he would comment it earlier, Cindy. Said his dad died. Geo called him out. Friend of Eli, got half pay. Yeah, well, that's good. Pullman, a nice city. Went there last year. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a, you'd think of American Pie, like American, not the movie American Pie, but you know, like American Pie and, uh, you know, Farmer and, you know, American Flag and, you know, good old boys and the fairy, you know, that kind of USA, go USA kind of thing. Not on this stream. I've been there here for the last few. No mention. Oh, yeah. He was just up here a little bit ago. I read it. Where is it? Maybe Arcade's got him out of here. So I was way behind. go drive safe with reading the chat man ganja king i missed that one thank you yes yeah it's gotta be careful i think it's the light sometimes but with no light you guys i mean is it that bad with no light yeah i think arcade got yeah arcade got him thank you Yeah, I agree, Cindy. Maybe GOX. I don't know. He hasn't said anything bad yet, so. My neighbor came over today, banging on my door, asking if my dog was loose. What a disgusting thing to say to want to know about an animal. <laughs> David. I like the dad joke. That was good. <laughs> you would have loved the Kermit thing I played earlier. I've got to go, but I pray for you. Get some juicy orders. Laugh out loud. Have a good one, man. Thank you, GTA Master. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for subbing and coming in. Usually it's a little bit more exciting. And there's some fucking orders. Oh, that cop's over there. Wonderful. I forgot he was over there. He moved, too. Gabby, turn it off. Turn off what? Oh, the live? Okay. Here, Gabby, how about I turn you off? Oh, bye-bye. No time for trolls. The light hot and you're shiny and pink. No light, you're gray and dull. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm shiny because when I get my hair cut and stuff, they, they we trim this. And so obviously I clean my skin too. So 
before I started the live, I just washed my face and I put lotion, like face lotion on. So it's shiny. It's always like that. It does look, there's no hair on there. So it looks really shiny, I guess. I don't fucking know. But yeah, I always have looked like that. The Home Depot people used to always, some of the people would give me shit when I was a manager because they would be like, why are you so shiny? I don't fucking know. I'm just not shiny. It's not my hair. It's not furry right there. And lotion maybe I use. I don't know. Look, I got a thing right here. Look. See, it's still shiny. And this is like damp. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm still shiny. Oh my God. You started watching an hour ago. I can't stop. Well, thank you, Gavin. Usually, I'm telling you, we're a little bit more action heavy. Tonight has been dead. Look at this fucking garbage. 250. Fuck you. Kingston, how you doing tonight? Uh, it's a late, weird one. I'd love to say it was April Fool's, but we're living the April Fool's dream tonight of garbage. I declined it and it's still staying up here. It just froze. Tarted. Then the timer went out and it went away, so. Oh, UGA fan, thank you. I got a thing that says you subbed. Appreciate you. Gavin as well. Looks like you got a channel, Gavin. I'll check it out. I don't know if it's the same kind of stuff, but. Sometimes it doesn't send on everybody. So not everybody we get a, a depends on what the settings are for that person. But a lot of the times I'll, I'll get an email. Like for Gavin's. That's all it says. That's why I don't dox myself. Yeah, there's nothing on there. It just says, yeah, it says he has 350 subscribers or something. Yeah, it went away. Anyways. Nothing on Instacart either. I was hoping we'd get at least maybe two or three orders, but yeah, this is... There's the $2 crap. Yep, arcades. The later it gets, the more trolls. Yeah, I must have went... I bet you they were on some kind of weird stream. There was probably some kids or something. And what happened is, is that they, one of them said or something, and then a bunch of them came over. It's probably what it was. Probably some troll channel or some shit. Just about to leave the charge station. Did 12 trips already and made 130. Nice. That's Cindy. About to get back on the, I'm back on it. Wait, I have 300 and subs? Yeah, it shows you have 353 subs, Gavin. Maybe it's weird. I don't know. It says that's what it said, I thought. Yeah, it says Gavin to subscribe to you. 353 subscribers. You might have if you just created a profile, you might have created a channel and not a profile. And so you may have a channel, even though you're not putting out content. Maybe you are. I don't know. I didn't look at it. But maybe if you if you're if you're not creating content, but if you put like these music videos you like or something, somebody might subscribe to that because they they like your playlists or whatever. You know, that's that's I've seen channels like that before. I only have one video and it's low quality. Yeah, I have a. I have like an old, old channel that has a lot of subs on it, I think. I think it's, does it have a thousand or something? I don't know. It had more than I did when I checked it last on this channel. It was when I started when I did uh, like Uber rides share in 2014. And I did a couple, like four videos. And uh, I don't have access to the channel anymore, but it still has to this day a few hundred subscribers. 
is weird. Yeah, you never know, Gavin. Sometimes, you know, one video, you can go. Some people only post a couple videos and they get monetized. My struggle's real. I push and it just doesn't like me. We're grinding it out. I mean, way late night bar and a little bit of coffee. Usually I'll have two of those. Tonight will be one. 450 for two miles. It's all quit on the western front and it, it sucked though. <laughs> That's almost halfway worth doing just because it's short, but there's a going. Oh, it's going to the nursing home over there. I had accepted the last second. Let's see how yeah, I did do it. I thought about it and I was like, oh, I'm, it's kind of my five bucks, is, but it's just down the road. So yeah, it was going to that nursing home we delivered coffee to the other day. Shout me out. Everybody go check out Gavin. <laughs> yeah, my channel has one video on it. Put up for family mainly, but I have thousands of vids. I watched or liked and can get subs from like playlists and stuff. Yeah, exactly. I probably should have done that four dollar one, but oh well. Thank you, Gavin. Appreciate you subbing. Let's see what we're at. I didn't even I haven't looked yet. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, guys, we picked it up tonight. We were at 452 in this little stream. We got the, the thing. We're at 459. It's almost 460. Who wants to be 460? Art. Now, I don't know if you're joking. I've got hemorrhoids, so I need to swap a pillow every other delivery really sucks so any advice for old sore butt like me I don't know probably wouldn't be doing deliveries if I every deliver every other that's pretty bad get some cream <laughs> I don't know I haven't dealt with that no like not like where you had to use a pillow that's pretty bad, buddy. Three fifty four. Cindy subscribed to you, is what she's saying. Well, if we can get an order, this would be nice. There you go, Cindy's got advice. Sit side saddle. All right, get those wipes. They have them wipes. I see them all the time now because I go have to go shop for and I see they have the that wipe so you don't have to stick your finger up there with the cream. I got maybe the cream works better. I don't know. Oh, Ray, nice glasses. You look sophisticated. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Well, I got out late tonight, so I said fuck it with the contacts. Each contact costs a dollar. I got the dailies. So I was like, eh. For an hour or two. Sometimes you need to give your eyes a break anyways. But yeah, there's my, my normal. I wore glasses since I was like 16, so unfortunately I've been blind forever. Usually do the contacts. Devious smarts, <laughs> arcades, <laughs> eat more fiber. Yeah, we're on still. We're waiting. Probably should have done the Taco Bell for the nurses or whatever. 
All I can think about is that fucking Terminator. I just want to watch Terminator. <laughs> Anybody want to see Terminator again? Sorry, my 12-year-old's kicking in. I don't want to say that again, because last time I did, all the trolls came in. <laughs> I'll see if I can find another one. I should make a... Maybe I'll make a folder, and I'll have those, like those kind of things, and I'll post those in there on the channel for you guys. Like, I'll put those in a, like a funny things folder. Oh, that's so funny. I literally am just waiting for something to come through here. This is so bad. I know, Gavin, one away, and we're so close. I don't know, I might try a different pillow. I've been creaming it all up when I'm kind of crazy. Oh, okay. Bye, Art. You're being an idiot. The Troll Factory tonight. Yeah, they send us these recap things, I'll show you. So it just tells us like what happened. Here's what you got up to last week. And so you get them at the week and it shows you like your little videos. It'll show you how many people and it shows the little pictures, who tuned in. So we had 1.7, uh, almost 2000 people watch last week. You got 25 new subscribers. Shows you which videos they watched. They're all just the lives, but I put the dates on them. And then 103 likes, three shares, and 15. Which somebody that actually has a big channel will probably literally laugh. They probably get this in like five minutes, but. And then it has us play a game. Which one did you think that they watched the most? Usually I'm pretty much up on it, but I think it was the 30th. Yeah, it was the video from the 30th. Yeah, almost 600 views. We'll check back next week. Thanks. So, anyways, a little bit behind the the, the YouTube curtain there for you. <laughs> they give those every Monday. We get those. Art the fart had me dying. No, yeah. well, Art the fart's gone. <laughs> I had a short get 8.3 thousand. Oh, wow. Nice arcades. That's fucking way better than mine. Uh, Cindy, she's a poet and didn't know it. Art the fart wasn't so smart, so he had to part. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was being serious, possibly, but then he, I could kind of tell. And then when he said he's creaming the pillow, yeah, okay. Like... He's probably like a 40 year old fucking dude in his mom's basement. Like, going on live streams, trolling, like on a DoorDash website, talking about sitting on a pillow. Like, what? That's so fucking dumb. How boring. You obviously you need to go get more orders and get off your ass. Or go do something. Stupid. I mean, if you were, like, 15, maybe, but I guarantee you he's a full-grown adult. That's an idiot. 466 7 -11. Average Discord moderator. At least try and be funny, and I'll let you live. <laughs> okay, kids. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Or be, you know, be comical in a way that's like, you know, they're like being insulting comical, like, or crude. 
You gotta be around for a while if you're gonna make weird jokes like that. Like you gotta, you know, you can't just come in and troll and then this is stupid. Whatever. I keep clicking on the YouTube open and it's gonna change to 160 or 460. Almost there, almost there. Well, we got 41 more to go. 41's better than 76 is what we didn't, we were gonna need, so we picked up quite a few tonight. Hey, if I can get like five or 10 a night, that's, if I can get five a night, I'm happy with it. I don't, I want to see what my most viewed, what I was looking at, I was trying to see what my vo most, boo, 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 boo my most viewed video was because I think uh, Arcades has got me. I don't have any that are real. Two point two thousand. I'm just a random short. Holy smokes, guys. Look at all that. Yeah. And got fucking 2,000 on that. Like, it's, it's weird. Right. You never know on YouTube, man. It's the weirdest things. Oh, Chuck did a pop-up live really oh, this morning. It looks 13 hours ago. Oh, Bren was live today, too, a few hours ago. I'm missing everybody here. She gigs it. Was a, did a new video today. She's got some good stuff. You guys check her out. Well, anyways, you want to sit me sit, bleh, watch me sit on my phone here? This is fucking crazy. I'm also waiting to see if that tip will come back too. <laughs> nice shades and healing all the smoke. I've had these glasses. My mom got me these. They're uh, Oakleys. And I got white years ago, like eight, nine years ago. I ordered the white replacements because they had black on them and they were, you know, getting wore out. She sent me these for the best birthday presents in, in 2009. So what, these are four, 15 years old, these glasses. $3 McDonald's. I think it was birthday or Christmas, yeah, she got me these. And, uh, yeah, they're 15 years old. I've, you can also, if you go like this a certain way, you can pop the lens out and change the lenses. And there's a funny story. I When I went to Maui, I went on one of the water slides. These fell off. This was when I was 30. That was my big special, me and my ex, a special trip. These fell off, and they were sitting on the bottom, of, and it was like a textured pool. And the fucking glasses got all scratched up. And they sit down there like this. So I got replacement lenses for them. But yeah, you pretty much redo the whole glasses. The, I've never broke the things or anything. But these, all the, the white parts are replaceable, the nose piece, and these. So it's just the frame, but it lasts. Good glasses. No tippers come out at night. <laughs> Hit the like. Thank you, Cindy. Had to burn your lungs for that short, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there was some big fire or something. It was nasty. It was like cloudy, so all the fog stayed. It was like, it looked like it was foggy, but it was smoke. And it was right, that was right when I restarted doing videos again, I think. Right, at, right around the Dash and Across America feature back way back when there's 12 of us in here well minus arcade cindy gavin so there's nine other people there was a forest fire right behind my house a couple years ago oh wow yeah you guys because you guys got all the trees down there you could see the red yeah i've got a crazy one from my apartment there was a, a fruit 
one of those fruit packing places that has the refrigerators. You know, the semis drive in and they load the trucks and all that. It was right by my old apartment. And I was standing on my, I hear all this shit and fire and stuff at night. I got woke up. I went out on the balcony and it's literally glowing red. There's fucking stuff coming out of the sky, like chunks of shit falling. It was like run road down. That place burnt down. It was, and you could feel the heat and shit. It was crazy. Like when you sit by a campfire. They're good on you. God bless you keeping them in good shape for this long. Sunglasses last about three minutes with me. Yeah, I've lost those almost like a couple times too, so. They withstand the ride. It's funny because I look at a lot of my. Oh, went. Lost signal for a minute. People want to see you moving around doing orders. A lot of the times they don't like it when it's here in the lab. What the fuck am I going to do? There's nothing coming through. Less moderation for me. Yeah, that was pretty bad. And of course it was when I had the order. I don't know what the hell I'm going to eat tonight. It's so late now. It's, uh, it's almost pointless. I should just go to sleep. Wake up early. Go get a Taco Bell breakfast. That would be good. Those that uh, grilled crunch wrap. Oh yeah. With the hash brown eggs, bacon chunks, and cheese. It's really good. And they wrap it up. It's like a quesadilla kind of. I don't know. It's good. You lived in the original Sin City. It was a fire town. Huge historic fires. As soon as you say less moderation for me, everybody just starts spawning in. <laughs> oh yeah, we jumped back up. I think I lost service for a little bit. I think I lose before it starts telling me. I don't know why I'm drinking this coffee at fucking 11.40. These things aren't that strong. They're barely. Shit, I didn't get my ice. Good thing I got the ice in the cooler. Because I usually get my cup of ice with the coffee place. I did need to get sprites. I was going to go get those. I only got two left. I should have got them when I got the coffee earlier. Maybe we'll run over there and get that shit, and then we'll see. That tip should be back here soon. I'm sitting at Walgreens parking lot, so nothing exciting. But the Walgreens is closed, so I look like a weirdo. There was, that cop was across the street, but he left. Everything here is closed. This whole fucking place closes down at like 8 o'clock. It's like Mayberry. It's just me and all the cops and a couple crackheads. It's watered down, shouldn't give you the troubles. Yeah, exactly. I don't think it'll keep me up, but I, what it will do is it'll give me enough, just enough caffeine to not make me withdraw, you know. Cause I get like a, dude, I get like a four or five shot, like, in that it's like a 16 ounce so yeah I've got to have a good chunk of coffee Lone Star Will sounds like the time the town you live in <laughs> yeah everything pretty much eight nine o'clock you're done arcades got somebody else you should have kept a count tonight arcades shit I think we would have been over 10 there was at least 10 or 15 I think I did about four or five myself Oh, Cindy got him too. <laughs> Cindy Conway, it says uh, you put <laughs> clout in timeout.
for 86,000 seconds. <laughs> Arcade says 600 seconds, and then Cindy says 86,000. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is. That's like, what, is that like a... It's got to be a long time. <laughs> Maybe it sounds like more than it is, because it's seconds, but... <laughs> 86,000. Oh, is it 24 hours? Okay. <laughs> I do 10 minutes unless they're like horribly bad. Oh, nice. Okay. See, Arcades, you're better than me. Oh, this fucker's over here with this shit. I hate it. They do this like a couple times a week over here. See the smoke? This fucking street sweeper fuck. He gets it all over the place. It's always right after I wash the car. Bastard. See, when I banned them, I just permanently banned them. I, had, I did hide the user from the channel, so they're completely gone. That's probably bad on me, but whatever. Most of them I probably won't give a shit. I knew there had to be a reasoning. I thought I, I thought either that or I said I was like, oh, or Cindy just put like a random like number in there that was a lot. And I just thought it was funny that it said eighty six thousand. Guess I didn't work it out to be the twenty four hours. Yeah, both phones fully charged now, I'm running both chargers. <laughs> That's what he gets for just saying Trump. Well, Cindy, we might disagree with this. But if I seen just Trump, I wouldn't abandon him. I don't want you to be mad at me, Cindy, because I like you. But I'm a Trump fan. Not that we like to talk politics because everybody gets pissy. No, I don't think everything he says is great, but... Is there any money in dashing? Well, some days, not fucking today, that's for sure. That dude that walked out of the store definitely stole. No, but he looks like a dude that would be where Arcades is in Portland. Oh my God, that fucker just went by and dusted me. You could take, like, you could taste it in the air. Like, it was like I breathed in, it was like, it smelled like mothballs and when it starts to rain, you know, that same. Yeah, he looked like a Portland kind of guy, like sweats with a beard. He probably had like a neck tattoo, gauged ears. <laughs> Wearing Crocs. I, <laughs> I didn't pay attention that much. Oh, my God, the alarm's going off. <laughs> We're going to go in here and get my sprites because... Oh, if I have the muffins, I'll get those too. I'm still waiting on that tip to come back. And in order. Oh my god. Garbage. No, oh, 16, whatever. Fuck you. Bye. We got a bunch of troll idiots in here again. See, that's why I don't mention that. All these little millennial people, Gen Z's, get so bent out of shape about Trump. That's a shit-ass order. Look what Biden did for you. Nothing. We'll leave it at that. It's enough political talk for tonight. I don't even follow it, but... If anybody wants to say that it's we're better off now than we were four years ago, they're sadly mistaken. 
regardless of who it is. Do 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 do. Bubbies? I thought it said boobies. Boobies mo mochi. Well, I appreciate you guys monitoring the chat. Cindy in the arcades, thank you. I'm not looking at it now. I haven't seen it, so. We'll be in political talk because it gets everybody's feathers ruffled. I'm not political at all. I don't care. They all... They're all shysters, every one of them. Just depends on how much of a shyster you want. Okay, we got muffins again. I actually haven't had these in a few days because I haven't came here. Them look good. 31st, yesterday, so. And some Sprite. It's all good. Everyone has the right to their own opinion regardless of who they support. Yeah, exactly. It's not a... Uh... Jesus, it looks like I riled everybody up. Biden is a malfunctioning Disney animatronic. Yeah, I agree. I love Sprite. That's all I get. Gary, there you go, buddy. America's just always been down the crapper. Zappy Trolls is like playing Asteroid Stone. <laughs> Blake, we're not banning anybody. We're just doing the trolls out. Now he wanted a ban. We'll ban them. I don't give a shit. Gen Z's don't watch my videos anyways. I don't really give a fuck. Most of them are douchebags anyways. Some are good and good tippers, nice. A lot of them are dorks, but it's hard to put any person in a group of people and generalize it because there's outliers in anyone, so. I'm nice to people if they're nice and if you want to be a dick, then be a dick. How about we try that first? Funny, I literally said just that, and it literally riled up like 20 of the... No wonder those other creator people make those videos doing that stuff. They probably get so many reactions, it's not even funny. One thing I did get the other day, which was pretty good, even though it was only like a bite, I don't mind getting these things, but I can't really in the car. Even if I put it in the cooler, it melts too fast. I, well, I actually haven't tried it, but yeah. My favorite is the cookie dough, but I wouldn't, I never buy them when they're expensive like that. It's crazy. I did get one of these little ones the other day. It was like two bucks. Just because I was having uh, ice cream withdrawals. Well, they have little, we've got little Ben and Jerry's, but I don't know how much they are. And I'll probably forget about it, let it melt, so. Then I'll be pissed. That's one big thing I miss. Well, I guess I could get it during the day or something, but. No, I don't want it. <laughs> You're like, yes, get out of here so I can leave. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's been, has it been slow? Oh, the apps are dead. I've only had like four offers. 
Oh, I'm getting a Safeway right now. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. It's, they're gonna be closed. They close in like a couple minutes. It's, that's not even possible. It's an alcohol. I couldn't even get there in time. That's a good order. Yeah, I'm gonna get dinged for that. I should take it and go get the half pay. It's eight bucks half pay, but it's all the way across town. Probably cost me two dollars in gas. And two back, so it's not worth it. I declined it. That sucks. Think about giving me a sandwich. We got these. What the hell's in that one? It's turkey sandwiches. That one looked gross. Just seven bucks. Jesus Christ. Look at the salad. Nine dollars. Oh, we'll do that one. Seven bucks. Yeah. All right. There we go. Finally, something. Look at these sleeping slices of cake. Five bucks. What the? F Shit made out of gold or what? They spray them. What the hell? Everybody at midnight or get paid or what? Yes, I would love to do that order, but they are closed. Stop fucking sending me Safeways at 11.55. They close in five minutes. It's literally impossible. Jesus, this thing fall asleep or what? We'll get this and go get that Taco Bell. And then that his tip should be back, so we'll know what we got at least. Like I said, I told you I'd stick with you guys until we... I almost showed my PIN number. I guess it wouldn't matter. I mean, if you had it, there's nothing to take, so go for it. <laughs> you might get 20 bucks or something if you're lucky. See ya. Uh, I know, they just, DoorDash just sent me two Safeway orders. I'm like, you guys closed, what the hell? Of course, I get a $15 and a fucking $16 five minutes before closing. I guess the 16 I could have went and done the half pay on that too. It was a little bit closer, but still, either way. Oh, all the door locks worked out through them. That was scary. That never happened. Okay, well, we got muffins, we got a breakfast, and got some sprites. <laughs> and we got an order. There we go, okay. 
Night arcades. I missed a bunch here. Arcades, you are Gen Z. Oh, sorry, buddy. Not me being a Gen Z as well. Laugh a lot of 57. Respect your elders. Uh, Gary, I'm a Gen X. I'm old. <laughs> Gavin, I'm a Gen Z, but I'm not one of those kids screaming skibbity toilet or whatever they say. I don't even know what the hell that is, but that's funny. Too, you know, too expensive. Agreed. Mmm, I want some spumoni. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Maybe like too while you're at it. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. That's ghetto Safeway too. No, that's the good Safeway. This is the nice one. I wonder how, oh, the offer was. Yeah, 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 you're right, our kids. I wonder how much of that ends up in the dumpster. Yeah, probably right. Sweet dreams, Sprite is right. <laughs> Haddad, bring me a Coke, please. Okay, Haddad, got you one. I love rhino farts. I love banning people. Good night, arcades. No Coke, Pepsi, chip, chip. What the heck, that's so nice. Do you, do your rhinos like your farts? <laughs> we got a lot of trolls tonight, man. Jesus. Troll City here. So I think Pepsi is better than Coke. <laughs> That's funny. I suppose I'll put you up here. Did we get our tip back yet from Yes, we did. I told you guys. I fucking told you. Look at that. So he gave me 15 cash. I don't want to put his address. That's not even the word. What the hell? Eighteen bucks. He tipped fourteen fifty plus the fifteen he gave me. He tipped thirty dollars. So I got fifteen plus the eighteen. What's that? $33. I told you. I think I said $30 something. Or $33. This is sub if the moon exists, Gavin. Yeah, the moon's in retrograde. Brings out the freaks. <laughs> In the first of the month does too. Here it does. Yeah, that's Cindy. That was a hell of a tip. I told you that guy always. And that's my jack in the box. I wouldn't mind going there if they have those tacos are all pretty bomb. I haven't had the mini tacos, uh, like Booger said, but the the regular ones are good. Even though they're just like a slice of cheese and some fake soy meat and weird sauce. I don't care. They're good. Burger King used to have tacos too. Back in the day, they made tacos for a while. Lone Star Wheel. Wow, great tip. Love the generosity. Yeah, he's a great guy. He always takes care of me. So I try to make sure to get his stuff and keep it warm. And awesome dude. Just a nice guy. He's invited me. He has like a store where he sells cards and stuff. And he's just an all around kind of a cool dude. He even invited me to come ride. He had like quads or something. He's like, yeah, if you want to come ride up, just stop by sometime. I'm like, what the hell? He's just a really cool guy. Lone Star will have to uh, be uh, now here for like two hours now. Well, thank you, Gavin. Yeah, Cindy's usually been here for quite a while. 
she she hangs out and then uh arcades is, arcades has got me unlocked man sometimes he's in the stream i'll literally hit post it and he's in there before i even go live appreciate you guys hanging out you know especially tonight hasn't been there in many deliveries but just shooting the shit and hanging out i guess That's dedication. <laughs> oh, no worries. We kind of we got what you're saying, Gavin. Thank you. Oh my God, that was yellow fast. Yellow to red, instant. Why is this stream so chill? That's I'm a chill kind of guy. That's a, that's how we do it. No bullshit. No trolls. Just chill. You know what I think, and a lot of people like, is I think I speak my mind. So if I see it, I say it. I'm honest and fair. And I kind of balance each side and I just say it how it is. I don't give a BS, you know, people like to put all this fake bullshit and this and that. No, no, no. If I don't like it, I'll tell you I don't like it. And that's a dying trait. A lot of people don't see stuff like that anymore. And a lot of people get so offended and butthurt and whatever about little stupid things like when I said the T word and then all the young and weirdos started freaking out and trolls or whatever. Every person that does that though there's like 50 supporters versus every one really loud non-supporter so again they all are crooks in some way so but we still got to live in the general rules of whether or not I like A, B, C, D, or whatever kind of person or whatever, you still got to, you know, live. You got to work and make some kind of money and got to, I think, generally try to be nice to somebody else. You know, park within the lines. If you see somebody, stop. Give them a wave. If they let you go, give them a nod, you know. This crazy concept of not being a complete asshole all the time or caring about somebody more than yourself. It's a crazy concept, I know. Well, well, what are we getting for this taco hell? Toxic hell is what my old buddy used to call it. Are we doing an Uber or drive a semi? No, uh, Uber. It might look with the back and forth, these shitty ass roads. It probably looks like I'm driving a semi. All right, what can you talk about? Hi, I got a uh, Uber for Joseph H. What's the name? Joseph H. Joseph? Yes. All right, go ahead and fuck one. Thank you. We got a grilled cheese burrito meal. Large chair Pepsi. Now I need to put this coffee away. It's way too late for that. Cup holder, give me one second. Oh, yeah, kind of the back. <laughs> yeah, it comes out of the back of the console here. Oh, crazy. You don't have one in the front? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah but I got all my shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. All right. Thank you. Right, have a good night.
Now, last time I did this, I spilled, there it is, okay. I spilled the drink, so. You with Israel. I think Keen is being political or whatever. You know what, Keen, what I'm with? I'm with, uh, we're in America, and how about we worry about Americans and, like, I don't know, a person like me that was born in America, has worked my whole life, and is literally homeless, and why do we not stop worrying about other countries and other places and take care of us, and then we can go help everybody else. That's probably a cool thing. Just my opinion. Why don't we take care of our own people and then, you know, worry about the rest of the world? Because that's literally what every other country does, except for us. Getting all political up in here tonight. Thank you. Check my subs when they go to zero. <laughs> After all political talks. <laughs> Four sixty two. Woo woo. Nice. Thank you, Gavin. Picked up ten tonight. Lone Star Wheel. Totally agree. Thank you. Now, I don't wish hate or anything or whatever bullshit's going on wherever. Fine. Do whatever. But why are we doing everything everywhere else except for, for our own people? <laughs> Where's the dream of buying a house or having a family or doing all that? Cause, like you, some people, you know, yeah, they can in some situations and stuff. It's not impossible, but you know, some pe a lot of people are out here struggling. It's hard. Trying to live. Well, tonight I'm not working all the whole thing, but you know, I'm still work seven days a week, driving and doing this, and trying to take care of my car, and trying to make videos and kind of help out. And do what we do. But I remember working, making six bucks an hour, which was minimum wage back when I started working, and I was able to afford rent, groceries, buy car stuff, go to the movies. I had plenty of excess money working a minimum wage job. Now, I average 20 bucks an hour and I, I can't even save enough to buy a house or let alone fix some of the shit in my car. It's insane. But, you know, we're just here doing dashes and stuff. We're not here to revolutionize the world. So I'll shut up about all this craziness. But again, let's just take care of us and then we'll worry about everybody else, okay? You think we can get to 470? I don't think so. We're probably going to end it soon, to be honest, Gavin. It's after midnight. I probably need to be in bed to be completely honest with you. But since I'm so late and I wanted to see what that tip was, I stayed up. Plus, you guys are. Mm I suppose I should have took you guys since there's so little deliveries tonight, but I figure that's a pretty good ass view. Yeah, this person orders all the time. Late at night. Mm -hmm. 
goo goo. Bye bye. Seven bucks for McDonald's. Uh, it's going pretty far. I don't think I'm going to do it. What do we got going on? A bunch of whining people now because I said go America, literally the country we live in. Jesus, these kids are retarded. I said nothing bad and I still get timed out. Explain that. Well, I don't know who timed you out, Blake. What me? What happened? Might have been an accident. If you guys have a wrench and stuff, you know, it's hard if you have never done that before. They're doing a good job, they're doing the best they can. Some of the stuff you click on, you barely touch, or if you touch the other name, it, they probably meant to ban somebody else, or put somebody else, not you, if you didn't say anything. So, don't take it personal. You can chat now, but you want to while out, then, you know, you can go down that road, too. tell you. I don't know. Shit, Cindy's put the link in there for me and my own page and I click on the damn thing and I fucking lose the whole stream. By myself, it's my stream. That is a doornail out here. I think we got more orders towards... <laughs> right around midnight than we did during the 9, 10 o'clock hour. Definitely not a typical night. I would already be done and eat and whatever, but apparently we had to go a little sideways tonight because I shared my views on uh, being an American. <laughs> and we are in city anyways living fucking surfing trolls tonight. Grown men coming in here being complete fucking idiots. Oh, I'm sure maybe women too, I guess. We'll, we'll throw everybody in the bus. Watch videos of Malta. Yeah, you know what? I always I wanted to look at that too. Malta life is so simpler. Been here 10 years now. Happy days. Yeah, you guys like all the overseas places, they'll take months off too. The, the holidays, you guys all get like long holidays and you're focused more on your family and stuff. America's all, all they want is they're just grinding us out to work. We slaves. How much can we get them to work? At least, like, I, that's why I like doing this, because at least you can feel like you get a little bit of freedom. Even though, you know, it's not a lot of money, but. Beautiful island, Cindy. Yeah, I bet. Gig Wars official, how you doing? Sorry I didn't see you there. We were on good wages in the UK, and our children were younger. They grew up and left home, and all of a sudden we were on the worst, just enough to live on. Yeah, it's pretty much. In this country, no ticket, no laundry. Anybody know that movie? I haven't heard of that one. Oh, that's why you went to Malta. Nice. Sorry, I was going back and reading. Can't sleep. Saw you live. Tuning in. Well, thanks, Gig Wars. 
we had a weird day. We didn't go on. We just did a couple late night hours. and It was completely dead. And then they throw me a $15 and a $16 Safeway four minutes before closing. One being alcohol. Unbelievable. Did a great Uber. Got a $15 cash tip and a $15 tip in the app. So, still a little time today. We've been going live gig wars every day. So I'm trying to get to at least 500 to hit that first benchmark. I've got my hours in, but I haven't um, haven't got the sub. So we've just been going live every day, dash in until we hit 500. We picked up like 10 tonight, so it's good. Yeah, we were at 452, we're at 462. We're 38 to go. When we started about today's day 10, I think, or 9. We were at 424 when I started doing the lives. So we went up about what, 40, 38. I have a feeling once we go back and they watch so, this because I said those couple things, I'm, I have a feeling I'll lose a couple. But also, I'll probably gain some, so it'll probably even out. I uh, said a couple of political statements, so <laughs> we're basically a proud to be an American thing. And, yeah. <laughs> well, we did an hour and a half, basically, we're at right now, so 18 miles. Just save in here. On Grizzwise, that whoever said earlier thought I was sponsored by Gridwise. Like Gridwise doesn't give a shit about somebody with 400 subs. Um, so we're at 2006, and then what's the rest of that tip gonna be on that? I forgot what it was. 65, so it's a weird amount. Eighteen and six eighty-five, because that's what his was. Plus some of the fifteen-dollar cash. I made forty bucks in an hour and a half. Obviously, the one order. I don't think we did. Any, we didn't do any dashes. Mm, no, we were on, but we didn't get anything. Yeah, so no time till tomorrow. But we're on here just shooting the shit, talking crap. When will your next live stream be? So, Gavin, tomorrow. We've been, um, yeah, multi-upper, uh, Gig Wars, yes. Gavin will be live tomorrow night um, sometime. I might, maybe in the day a little bit. Um, depends when I get out. I usually don't start until about 2-ish, 3-ish, something, something like that. It just depends. I kind of just go by the seat of my pants, what I feel like. I don't particularly, like if, even if I schedule, sometimes I won't start, you know. But, uh, yeah, every night. So at least by probably about 6 or 7 West Coast time, I'll be live. We usually do, we've been doing about 3 to 5 hours live. You'll get in the glasses. Much easier to deal with the, the contents. Well, thanks, Gary. I appreciate you. Bye, Sharon. Have fun in Malta out there. I'll look it up tonight and check it out. Yeah, the glasses are also much cheaper and easier. These ones are weird though because they have the tent thing, so when I go outside in the sun, they turn dark, you know. Weird. I watched some of your content, just wasn't sure if I had the. if I had the deets right. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'll be sure to be on the next live stream. Thanks, Gavin. Appreciate you. Yeah, usually I'm running all four, um, Grubhub, Instacart, Uber, and DoorDash. I didn't have DoorDash, though, tonight, so we were lucky and got about half an hour earlier, but they didn't send me anything. Well, anybody got anything else for me? We'll end this beast. I guess we've been live for almost three hours. It's not bad for considering we didn't really do any of the deliveries, really. We only did two deliveries. 
You guys went shopping with me <laughs> to buy a coffee and a, some Sprite. <laughs> it's kind of a weird one. You look good in glasses and you need new ones. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, I need to get some new ones too, but these work for now. I actually got a backup pair. They're a little older under the seat, but they're still, they're still fine. Good night, Gig Wars. Thank you. Sorry, uh, you caught me late. I'll put, I'll make this live stream public uh, when we get done. So if any of you guys are still up and you can't sleep, you can go back and watch it if you missed it. Or if you want to check out all the other lives the last few days. We seen a cyber truck yesterday, so that was cool. It's in the first part of the East Easter, the part one. I went back and watched it. It was a little fuzzy because it was like buffering a little bit, but you could still see it. Freaking sweet. You got through April Fool's Day. Yeah, the transitions. Fortunately, I didn't have to pay for these ones. They came when I had insurance in the good old days. They are, yeah, they're pretty expensive. It was fun hanging out. Hope to see you tomorrow. It will be better for you gig-wise. Yeah, I hope so, because yeah, tonight's coming. Usually we do a lot more delivery as well, too. A little less political, a little less shit-talking, but thanks for subbing and being here and commenting. DV Stash is going to be out. I might go give me a couple tacos and go pass out or something. I don't know. We'll see. But i got to go find somewhere to park and sleep and change and do all that because we're living in the car, too, so you guys already didn't know that. Need some rest, Josh. Hope you can get warm tonight. Get some peaceful sleep. You need to take care of you. Well, thank you, Cindy. I will. Yeah, I might go to my one hangout. The only problem with that particular hangout is there's a gentleman with a truck that works early and he likes to start it. It has a nice exhaust. It wakes me up. But if I put the headphones on, it might be good. Well, yeah. Thank you, Cindy. Be safe. Night, everybody. Thank you all. Even you trolls, you all helped the video. Appreciate it.